3D Rising is in Raleigh, North Carolina at Cardinal Gibbons, where we just watched Paul VI hang on for an 11-10 win over Norfolk Academy. Uh, we're talking to Paul VI, PVI, head coach Bob Waters. Coach, congrats on this win. Uh, just take us through it and what went right for you guys uh, to be able to hold on to that one. Thank you, Casey. Uh, first of all, you're always pleased with a win. Uh, so we're happy to get the win. Uh, Norfolk Academy is always a tough team. We had a really tough game with them last year. Um, they just didn't quit. You know, we, we had a two or three, three goal lead at points in the game, and we knew they wouldn't quit, and they didn't. Um, you know, Tom Duquette team is going to keep coming at you, coming at you. So, um, you know, first, big kudos to them. So, beating New Norfolk Academy is always a big win. Um, we did some things right. Our, our faceoff guy was terrific today. Gavin Klein, which he's a sophomore, and uh, I just need to mention he just did a terrific job for us on the faceoff. Um, they did a good job on the wings. They were very aggressive on the wings. Uh, our midi number eight, Roman Pugliese's athleticism was a big, big deal for us today. Um, very important for us. Um, at times our offense looked very good, and, and at times we were forcing things that we didn't need to force. And um, we've got some things to clean up um, defensively. Uh, but I thought our goalie had a great day, even though. He gave up 10 goals. I thought he had a good day, and we just need to give him better support uh, defensively. Coach, you're in your fifth year at uh, PBI. Uh, you're one and one right now. Heard good things about your team after your uh, close battle with uh, Landon to start the year. If you can, just talk about your approach to developing players and, and I guess how that sort of come to fruition for you this year. Sure. Um, first of all, this is the first year that we've had four classes that have kids that we've recruited in, like two or three kids a year we recruit in that we think have D1 potential, and um, so we're thrilled with the group we have, very athletic group. We unfortunately have some guys out hurt. Um, one of our best middies, uh, Emmett Kemble, who's a, a Bryant commit, is out until early April. Our goalie got hit in the spleen the first day of practice. Uh, Tommy Brackett, our starting goalie, and he's out for 10 weeks. Roman Pugliese, number eight, the reason I mentioned he had such a great game is he just popped his shoulder um, two days before the landing game. Um, he played, but he Um, so, you know, he's playing hurt, he's doing a great job for us, so right now we need to get healthy. Um, we're still figuring some things out uh, with our lines, and uh, it's early for us in the process. We don't get as much time outside because we don't have a turf field at PVI, so it takes us a while early in the season to get going. Um, we're really excited about the group of guys we have. Uh, I'm really excited about our coaching staff. So we think we're going to be a much better team at the, at the end of the year. And in terms of developing players, I'm a big believer, number one, in our JV program. Um, we've got a great JV program and great coaching staff. I think that's really important. Um, if we don't think guys are going to play, particularly young guys, we're going to put them on our JV to get the development, get playing time. Uh, they're very well coached, and we know they'll come up to varsity knowing our system and having the confidence that they're going to gain at the JV level. Um, we will bring a few guys up if we think they can make a contribution or fill a gap. And, uh, but we're going to make sure that they're going to get some playing time. Um, and then practices are certainly important for us, a lot of work in practice. We have a, I have a pretty big coaching staff because we're all part-time, nobody's in the school. Uh, but it does help us. We break guys out and do individual work in practice in addition to the teamwork. So that's a real luxury for me to have such a great coaching staff. Um, so every position, uh, goalie, face-off, middies, attack, defense, we have guys uh, with college experience who work with those guys. I think that, that makes a big difference for us, and that's why I believe by the end of the year we'll be a much better team than we were um, our first two games. But again, thrilled to come out with a win against uh, Norfolk Academy. I have all the respect in the world for that program and for Tom Duquette. So um, kudos to them. I thought they played a great game. And uh, if not for our face-off guy having such a great game, then our goalie uh, you know, might have been a different result today. Uh, this is the second year in a row we've been able to catch up with you down here at the King of Spring. Just talk about this event and being able to get down here and play yeah. some different teams. I tell you what, I am so excited and proud to be a part of this. Uh, John Lancey, God bless him, he's just done a phenomenal job. Uh, the VS Foundation, for folks that aren't familiar with it, it's raising funds for cancer research for children. And if anybody, we've all been touched by family members that had cancer, but um, I've got a close friend who lost a child to cancer, and anytime you see a child in that situation, you know, it breaks your heart. So what we're doing is fantastic. We're, uh, the latest numbers I saw, I saw where we've raised over $40,000 so far uh, through this tournament. We're just proud to be a part of it and, and help raise the money. And 
uh, we're going to keep coming back. But really, that's the big deal. It's such a great cause, but we also come down here, we get some great games. John uh, does a phenomenal job getting the facilities lined up in schools like Cardinal Gibbons and Durham Academy are fantastic to offer their facilities. There's some wonderful hospitality and, and, and it's great, uh, a great road trip for us early in the season to start building some chemistry and camaraderie for players. Well, Coach, thanks so much and congrats on the big win. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you.